All right, everyone, it's another cruise vlog, and this time it's a little different. I'm not solo cruising this time. We got a special guest, Hello. Scott Miller. So we have a balcony room, so that's a first time for me. This is the Norwegian Escape, so let's do it. Let's go. In true Shannon fashion, it is 1 p.m. right now. I was packing up until 11.30 a.m., so I'm already frantic, so it'll be really nice to pop a drink in my hand, sit at the hot tub, and also have a hot dog. Our first ever balcony room. Oh, Ooh, it's gonna be so nice when we get to Bermuda. All right, I'm excited. Beautiful. Okay, we did four flights of stairs. I'm dying. Oh, I earned the open bar. Okay, so we got two twin beds, a couch, and then let's check out the bathroom. Spacious, we're good. All right, so yeah, a lot more spacious than what we've seen, at least with me on an inside room, but Ooh. very nice, right? Isn't that huge? A TV that works. All right, let's go outside and test it out. Ooh, okay. We got a bird, we got some lifeboats. We are, yeah, we are right on the edge. There's nothing below us. Oh, this is so nice. All right, I'm still recovering from four flights of stairs. That's the most activity I'm gonna do other than the dance floor. So we're gonna go have our first drinks. First drink of the day, LITs. Okay, we did the sail away party. It's actually really nice out, kind of cold. So we're just waiting until we go under the bridge. Obviously, you gotta do that. And then going inside, my boobs are freezing. But also, this sunset, I was not getting these in San Diego, but I'm getting them in the armpit of Manhattan. Look, 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 here it is, here it is, here it is. Oh my God, you're not gonna make it. Are we gonna make it? Oh, right under, right under. <laughs> we are at sea and finally enjoying. Woo! Watch your step. Watch that first. Enjoying the balcony. We asked for a fun shot and we got a little beer. How fun. You want to say hi? Hey. All right. We got a 15 minute wait for our dinner, but yes. luckily there's a bar right behind us, so. Luckily, nothing. <laughs> I got French onion soup. He's got, got French, French onion soup. soup. And we got a little bruschetta that we will cut in half, but that presentation, baby. Okay, Scott and I both got beef medallions, and I will be eating steak yeah. for every meal this entire cruise. Okay, just had our dinner. That was so good. So good. Oh, we're going here. And now we're at the comedy club. I like that this is <laughs> a little like town square in here. We got the bistro, we got the comedy club. Thank you. Oh, all right, we'll do it. We'll do it. All right, we did it. It's 10 p.m., but we are tie tie. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> Now let's watch a shitty movie and pass out. The ocean is howling. Do you hear that? I do. Oh, let, me, let me fucking disrobe from this denim thing. Successful first day. It's only from mailbox. About 10 p.m., but we are going to bed. We have no plants. Scott has no shirt on. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm sure. No. Internet buttons. <laughs> No plans for tomorrow, which is the best kind of vacation day. We will probably still wake up at 5 a.m. though, because that's just how the Miller kids do it. Good morning. So as predicted, we did wake up pretty early. It's 7.35 a.m., so I'm 
out and about now. Um, but Scott has already been for a walk. Now he's already in the hot tub. So I'm still waking up, but I figured I would take advantage of having a balcony and, you know, reading the little freestyle daily, which is like the crew schedule for the day on the balcony. And then I will get my act together and we'll go up, get an omelet, and then I'll probably come back down and change and then hot tub all day because that's what you do on an Etsy day. We did find the Spice H2O last night, which is the adults only. Um, area and also that's where like the parties will be if it's like weather permitting we'll have like our 80s party out there um so it has like a grotto and hot tubs and just like no kids although i don't really mind kids popping around but i do like being at the main pool on a sea day for like the activities and the poolside games so we'll probably like hop between the two and just see what suits us better it is a sold out cruise though so finding a chair might be an issue. Um, I do have to say it was so nice to have the balcony room because like hearing the ocean while you're sleeping, like the perfect white noise. So we are, let's see, like halfway to Bermuda, literally halfway. Um, and I don't want to jinx myself, but it's been pretty smooth sailing. Like we are not rocking and rolling. The hangers in there aren't clanging or anything. So like I said, I'm going to you know, enjoy having a balcony for a little bit and then go get my daily omelet. Cannot find my brother, so I had breakfast without him. I have my swimsuit on, so I'm ready to go in the hot tub. Just not happening yet. I figured I would walk around and explore and I did happen upon a little bowling alley. So this is cute. I love that there's like a little bit more to do on this ship than I feel like there has been on other ships, but again, I'm still exploring. I'm only on the seventh floor right now, um, but I am very impressed that there's like a little bowling alley and then an arcade up here and there's a full arcade upstairs. Still exploring and I did notice that the like indoor club, like the dance club. So if it's raining outside during a party, we would do it in there and like, um, on the getaway, it was called the Bliss Lounge. I forget what it was called on the gem, but that's where like the fight was. Um, and this one is in the middle of the casino. So it still stinks of smoke and it's not even like away. It's just right in the middle of the casino. So I don't know if I love that. Um, we'll see, maybe there is a separate area, but from what I saw, it just was like right in the middle of the casino. Also ultimate tourist move. I bought the little lanyards for our cards, but it's so much easier than carrying a bag. Also, since I'm at gold status, because I've done four cruises and like they've been long cruises, I got 10% off, so that always helps. Good morning from Bermuda. So I woke up at like 5 a.m., but I woke up to the sun rising over Bermuda. We have the perfect spot to watch us like dock in here. Also, the water is so blue. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but like, oh, it's amazing. So we watched them pull in here. It looked impossible, but I don't know how they do it every time. So we watched them pull in here. This is a free ferry for Norwegian. It only goes in once per day so we're missing this one so we'll get on that tomorrow but me and scott kind of procrastinated on booking a tour so i just got us on the rum swizzle sunset catamaran cruise i went to go book it just now and she's like i only have one spot left i was like you know what we'll book it we'll see what happens and then the girl's like actually you can both go so it always works out so another instance of everything working out with our package we get one specialty dining and there's about four specialty restaurants on um, an NCL ship and last time I had Cagney's the steakhouse and I was like we have to go back to Cagney's and I tried to book like last week online when we got on the ship I tried to do it on the thing all reservations completely booked so I was like oh, I really want to take them to Cagney's so last night we got dressed for dinner I'm like you know what let's just like stop by and see if they'll take us and boom walked right in sat down no reservation so we had the best dinner I'm like I'm sorry but everything else is gonna like really pale in comparison to this but such a good dinner. Ooh. Fancy butter. <laughs> Thank you. It's got, it got um, spinach, mashed potatoes, 
filet mignon. I got a filet mignon. Mashed potatoes and mushrooms. Mm. The striping's beautiful. I know. And then we're like, oh, we'll come back, take a nap, and then go out. We were asleep by 10 p.m. Once again, I am a little, you know, upset. I missed the 80s party, and I, you know me. I love a party, and I love the 80s, so a little sad we missed that, but sleep took precedent. So um, there is a 90s party tonight, so hopefully I can rally myself for that. So um, it is, what, 9 now? And our sunset cruise is at 4.15. Thank you, Daylight Savings Time. So we have no set plans other than that. So I'm going to go in the hot tub. I think that's where Scott is now. And then we figured we would just like walk around here. This is the naval dockyard. So, you know, explore around here and then do our thing tonight. And then tomorrow we have till 3 p.m. So I think tomorrow is when we'll get on the ferry, go to the other end of the island. We have to hit a beach at some point. Like you're in Bermuda, you have to. So we will find stuff to do, but I'm very happy I was able to book that because I was a little nervous with that booking system, but everything usually works out. Okay, friends, voiceover Shannon here. It was a wind tunnel in Bermuda that day. So not that I was talking a lot in the clips, but it was just so loud. And explored the dockyard for a little bit, but then we got on a $7 taxi down to Horseshoe Bay because you have to go to the beach when you're in Bermuda. So we were a little underprepared. We did not have our swimsuits, but we were able to go up to our knees. It was nice and warm. And then we explored through, you know, the caves and stuff. And of course, we stopped at the bar and got a drink. So here's a close-up of the pink sand. It actually is pink. Um, again, just very windy all over. Okay, friends, I'm looking a little rough. Um, so this is my first time today picking up a camera. I do have hair. Um, first time today picking up a camera. It is day two in Bermuda. We just left. So as you can see, we are booking it off the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Look how blue that water is. It's not even picking up on camera, but it is so blue. So yesterday was day one. Ugh. 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 <laughs> so yesterday was day one in Bermuda and it was a wind tunnel so any footage either you're going to see or you're about to see is all going to be like voiceover or what have you because it was just like so windy um and then it was rainy and just gray and I'm like I wish I could show my brother like the true colors of Bermuda um but we went ahead with our sunset swizzle cruise on a catamaran and it poured but we made the best of it so we had a really good time i would highly recommend it if it's nice out the day you're here um but it was a huge catamaran like with the nets in front so if it was nice out you could sit there it was not nice out but we still sat there because i want the full catamaran experience and just non-stop rum swizzles like they kept hopping you off I don't say no a lot, but I had to say no towards the end. So yeah, we made the best of it, but it would have been even better if it was nice out. We had an actual sunset, um, but today really turned around. Today was beautiful. So um, yesterday we went to Horseshoe Bay. We got a little taxi over there. Today we took the free Norwegian Cruise Line ferry to St. George um, and then walked around there. And then on the map, you're like, whoa, that's the whole width of where we are, but it was a 15 minute walk. So we went to Tobacco Bay, went in the water. I say it doesn't really count unless you go all the way under so it was cold but I went under and then once you do that you're fine um, but I did have my eye on our backpack on the shore the whole time I didn't feel like unsafe but I do like to keep an eye on my stuff you know because I had the vlogging camera even though I never picked it up I had my phone even though it's four years old but like you just don't want your stuff stolen that like ruins the vibe of your vacation but it was just so nice to get in the water and especially on a nice day so I'm very happy we got a nice day even though we only got to like 2 p.m. here um then we just like walked around, explored, but really solid day, especially considering how bad yesterday was. But we kept saying, at least we're not at work. So I think I'm gonna go hit the pool right now because I still have my swimsuit on. We did the water slides yesterday. We're the only adults. We're the only people doing it and we were adults. Um, such a blast. They also have the ropes course that was on my cruise in 2018. So you're, you know, 18 stories above the ocean doing a ropes course. I don't think I'm gonna do it this time, but they also have mini golf. Like there's a lot to do on the ship. Um, my hair has not been cooperating this whole trip and um, zero good pictures. I brought my giant suitcase with all these outfits and I've been wearing like gym clothes the whole time, but, and it's too windy to even take a picture. If I go outside, I'm like, Whoa! so I tried. I tried. <laughs> so I'll be at the pool and I will see you later. Here's the sunset we deserved yesterday, but it's still not bad seeing it from our balcony. 
the big show on the escape was choir of man and it was basically a bunch of guys and literally the second they came out i was like oh here's where all the cute guys were this whole time um singing like cover songs but it was so fun and they start the show like they just let audience members come up. It's a functioning bar on stage. I did not go up, but um, now I know for next time to definitely go up. The guys are coming through the crowd. They were so nice and fun. There's a lot of audience participation in this show. So if you have an aisle seat, they might drag you up and sing to you. There was a point where a guy ran off stage and gave me a beer in the audience. And you're gonna know every song. And again, cute guys. This was the night of entertainment for us. So right after that, we went to the Supper Club. And every night at the Supper Club, they have a different kind of show. We went to the boy band um, sing-along, so that was right up my alley. And again, the guys were great. The food was amazing. It was just one menu, so everyone there was getting a salad, chicken parm, and then carrot cake, which is an easy way to go about it when you have to feed everyone during a show, and everything was really good. And then it was time for the glow party. So I finally made it to a party on like what, the second to last night of the cruise, but it was a blast. It was packed and I got to wear my fun neon clothes. <laughs> day five. It's our last at sea day. It's also very windy, so I hope you can hear me. Um, it is a little chilly, so I'm out here in a sweatshirt, but I am out here. I'm going through all the drinks I have written down because how often do you get like professionals making you drinks? Oh, I look rough today. Um, so I'm going to mix a bunch of different alcohols. What could go wrong? Okay, just wanted to pop on here looking like a girl because I feel like this whole vlog, I've had crazy hair, makeup under my eyes. So, you know, we just gotta document the look I pulled together. This should be sitting on my shoulders, but it keeps popping off, but it looks really cute. This is kind of old from Abercrombie. I, my bangs actually cooperated today, even though it's windy. We just did a laugh outside and I'm like, oh, I cannot actually do this. Um, I am filled to the brim with food, there's no room in my stomach. If I put something in my mouth right now, even just like a sip of water, it would hit right here. That's how high <laughs> the food is piled in my body. Um, I left Scott at a bar. I'm like, I'm gonna lie down for an hour and I'll meet you later. Cause it is the last night. I got a face on, we're gonna make the most of it. Um, but yeah, I just wanna pop on here, looking like a human. All right guys, we did it. We've made it to the end of the cruise. Made it! Scott finally got drunk. <laughs> Bad time. Finally. Bad time. Um, we were saying we do wish it was a little longer because we're just getting our bearings now. Right. Yeah. I wish I could sleep in beyond <laughs> day four or yeah. five. Yeah. <laughs> you just got used to staying up or staying in past 6 a.m. So next time, at least seven days. But we're down to do it again. And look, we got... No complaints. <laughs> Um, 4 a.m. Rubens. <laughs> Someone took a bite. It was me. All it right. was me. It was <laughs> caught you, folks. I'm sorry. I had to eat. I've got to eat. <laughs> All right. Um, sorry for no fights and no bra whippings arounds and no what else? What other weird stuff happens on cruises? This one was pretty tame. So. <laughs> uh, thank you for all the little children for blocking us from getting into the hot tub. You know, we didn't want to boil ourselves yeah. alive, so yeah. thank you, little kids. Saved us. And uh, you know what? Otherwise, it was a great time. <laughs> Thanks, Norwegian. Woo!